Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bible Q&A. Today we're discussing, is being merciful a strength or a weakness? Now, the answer depends on what your view of mercy is. There are different ways people are. For example, there is a father and a son, and the son purposefully disobeyed his father. If the father is a really merciful person and never punishes the child no matter what he does, then that isn't a strength. That's a weakness because, first of all, he won't be able to take care of the child properly because it'll eventually click that he can do whatever he wants without punishments. In Proverbs chapter 19 verse 18, it states, Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crime. That does not mean we should do the exact opposite. That isn't good either. In the same scenario, if your son purposefully disobeys you and you show no mercy, you decide to disown the child or not feed him for a few days. That's also not great because that's way too harsh. And having anger management issues is, of course, not a good thing. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 19, it states, A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment. For if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Also, in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 29, it states, He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of a spirit exalteth folly. Furthermore, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, St. Paul stated, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Then what should we be like then? We have to be merciful and firm. In other words, we should strive to be like God Almighty. As we all know, He is a merciful God. In Psalms from the 86 or 15, the psalmist stated, But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. We can see this in Psalms chapter 36, verse 7 to 9, Romans chapter 15, verse 5, and 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. But that doesn't mean we can get away with evil. When we sin, we get punished according to our wrongdoings. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 5, it states, Every one that is proud in hearts is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. This means that God is like any other disciplined man. He gives people room to repent, but he doesn't tolerate nonsense. In conclusion, is it a strength to be merciful? Yes, to some extent. We have to be firm sometimes, and we have to be merciful in others. Just like with everything else in life, we have to use our number six to decide when and where to show mercy and discipline for the benefit of others. And that's the end of this episode of Bible Q&A. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can view these Bible Q&As whenever you like. Thank you for listening.